Hey guys, it's Roxy Allen. Good morning. So um, I buy some, I, sometimes I buy things on Etsy um, where the commercial license is allowed and I like to paint it or, you know, sometimes I'll sell the paintings. Sometimes I put them on t-shirts, who knows, right? Um, I found this one and I blew it up. Um, it was actually only just a few inches, but it is, let me check here for you too. It's from a shop called My Vintage Files. And this is what um, I blew up. And it's old vintage postcards. Can you see that okay? All right, so um, I thought it would be fun. You know, normally what I do is if you have a photograph or something you want and you're stressed out about drawing it, what I do is just take a little painter's tape and I get a really large piece of carbon paper. Now this has been used, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's pretty well used, um, but you can get this from social artworking. Uh, I'm sure Michael's and Hobby Lobby will have it, but you use the dark side down. So there is, let's see if this one is a little bit better. So you can see this side and this side. So the dark side goes underneath. And then all you're gonna do is take a pen and draw your outline. And make sure that if you do that, like I'm just gonna put a heart right here so you can see it lift it up and make sure that heart is there. Okay. But because you're in YouTube land, I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to draw it out and I'll show you how I kind of struggle with it. Sometimes I've got it on that wall. So it'll be a little bit weird, but I'm going to draw it out in blue, light blue, I think, because that color is going to get hidden really, really well. So, um, and I'm kind of drawing off to the side, which is going to be a little weird. And I've got some light blue on my brush. And I'm just going to stick that right in the middle. So what I want to do is kind of sketch out a basic shape. And that's kind of large, but that's fine. And that should be almost perfectly in the middle. So a nice little triangle. And I'm just going to put... A rectangle underneath that. For me, the easiest thing is not to worry about the details, but to just um, just find those shapes and figure it out as you go. So I've got this part, and now it looks like what I'm actually going to want is maybe a little place that comes here and then we'll go here with that side. Remember these should be parallel and over here. Yeah, those should be straight down and there'll be a little door kind of that way. And then this is going to come quite low actually. And then we'll do a little something up like this. Now, if you already have this kit from me, then you don't need to worry about any of this. You can just paint and get on your jolly way. But for YouTube land, so let's see, we're just gonna draw it out. Okay, and that's basically the same. And that should be a little, and that comes down quite low. Okay. And then we're going to put a tree here, ba ba ba, and it looks like a tree here. And then behind here, we'll go, uh, let's see, we're going to bring that out this way. And then we'll do something like that. Okay. And then there's a big tree behind here that's not quite as tall and a few 
off in the clouds, which is kind of weird. And this guy and a little guy back here, little guy, taller guy, little guy, little guy. And then as we go here, we'll go down. Maybe that way. And then whoosh. Okay, and we'll deal with the rest of the stuff later. So the other thing you can do is just take a picture of whatever you want to paint and print it out um, and do it in draft on grayscale because you just want basic lines and then you can copy. So, um, all right. So I want to put down, I think I'm going to work on the sky back here and just get that kind of going. So I'm going to use phthalo blue and I'm going to use white and black. And then some other colors I'm going to want in here are a nice, uh, I go burnt sienna and I'll probably use black. And then I'm also going to do cad yellow and that'll be kind of fun. Okay, so um, I'm just going to cover this up because I happen to have it on my brush. So, la la la, this is just light blue and white, light blue and white. Da, 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 da. And I'm going to put more white towards the top and in the middle, and that's fine. This is just giving us a basic color scheme. And we'll go here ish. And then, and this, of course, will end up being a very different painting than the one that I got the idea from, but that's okay. So white, do, do, do. And you know me, I like base colors and then other colors. Okay. So I'm gonna start with the background and I'll worry about trees later. I'm going to grab a nice amount of phthalo and I'm gonna go with some black in here. And I'm just going to bring in, oh, I'm using the wrong brush, actually. I'm going to use my one inch wash brush because this other little half inch is just going to be too small for me. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to go over more than I think I need to because that way I can always add stuff on top, but I'm not trying to piece together anything later on. And I'm going to make it a little more dramatic than it is in the postcard. Well, and by the time you're finished, like it really should be a different painting. And then as I move out, I'm just going to start to add more and more white. We'll see how we do here. And this is all going to be tree in here, so I'm not going to be too worried. And with this, I do like it choppy. And you could even add, if you wanted to give it more of that vintagey feel, you could add the tiniest bit of green in here. And I know it's like, oh, I don't want a green sky, but it will actually make a bit of a teal, not so much a green. And it'll be kind of cool. And that's kind of fun. So I might just do that. Just a little bit of a teal in there. Okay. And 
then I'm just going to keep adding. You can make it dark. You can make it light. Now, a lot of you who are just following me on YouTube and not using the same paints um, worry that your paints are too thick and they're not moving as well. So the best that I can say for that is get a low viscosity paint if you can. If it says soft bodied, fluids are amazing. They tend to be slightly more expensive, but they're really great. Um, but it should say low viscosity, soft bodied, um, fluid. Windsor and Newton is great. Liquitex has a soft bodied, which is really, really good. But while you're learning, it is okay to use cheap paint. Like it is okay. And honestly, for white, I prefer cheap paint until I do the final layers because it moves, it's thin and I want it to move that color around. So in fact, um, I, yeah, I actually have, uh, three, well, four different whites and I move it around dependent on what I want. Like I'll use a super cheap white just to get base coats. Um, unless it's, you know, unless it's something for sure I'm going to put in a gallery. But even with then, I might do the bottom coats. Well, I want a little green in there. It's like, oh, that's really green, but that's okay. Touch of black, touch of black. Okay, so you don't have to do the green, of course, like we've said. Let's get this in here. Do, 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 do. So try not to bring water directly to your canvas. You can, but you have to be so fast. Okay, so I'm going to show you. I've dipped it in my water bucket and then I got to move. You got to move because if it drips at this point, it might not be so bad, but you don't want to do it when it is, you know, when it you've got all this painting already done. It would be sad. Okay. And I am thinning with a little bit of water and just moving that around. And I bring it to the tops of my canvas. And I like to bring it down most of the way, even though we're gonna put other colors on here. Just gives us a nice, beautiful coat. So I hope that helps. Okay. So I'm gonna move more paint over here. And I'm gonna move this like this so that I can actually get to everything. And I'm gonna throw more paint in here. And I'm gonna use a tiny, tiny touch of green again and a little black, just a little corner of black. So want to get the top and just paint that on it. Okay. Can you see that? And then halfway down the side at least. You don't want to have to try to find these colors later on because they're unique. Very difficult to match it. Can you do it? Yes, of course you can. But do you want to have to do it? No, it's nice if you don't, if you just don't have to, right? Okay, so we've got our basic sky in there. And I'm going to throw in um, some more white. So I'm going to come up. I've got some white. And I want to kind of do a haze coming in here. And my brush is still dirty. I just want to do a brightness in here. 
just a little bit of brightness in there. Just get it to where you like it. Oh, that, that works. Okay, now I'm gonna start with white, just laying in a few ideas of trees so I kind of know where everything's gonna be. There might be a dark tree back there and I think I'll come down here with another tree. I think that'll be good and some trees back here. Okay, and then over here, do that. And then over here, come in and do that. What else do we wanna do? Just kind of fade off, okay. So, I'm gonna come in, going in here with a lot of white, okay? I'm gonna start hazing this out. Now, you can use, if you find this gets too muddy, I'm still using my dirty brush, remember? But, if it gets too muddy, you can always come in and cheat with a lighter blue and white, okay? Um, I'm gonna change brushes now. And I'm using this guy. He's a half inch flat wash brush. Okay, so looking at my painting and I just want to play. I, I want a nice light blue and I'm just gonna tap some stuff down. And don't worry about doing it quite the same way, right? And like, that's a little too, I wanna, and I just wanna get a basic shape of a tree in here. Okay, and I'm gonna bring that all the way down farther than I think I need it. And then there might be another little guy in here. Just some sort of fuzz, okay? Let's see if I turn that off, that might help. And then I wanna play in here and I'm grabbing more white and I wanna do another tree. And now this person actually goes up, kind of more up. And you can totally do that. We'll go up for the sake of the painting. And we'll add more to what we like later on. Okay. And then we'll highlight too, but, and we'll go up. Like I'm more of a, I like my trees going down cause that's easier for me, but just gonna pop these in. And I'm not too worried about it. I just wanna get lots of white down here. Hmm, I'm gonna use a lot of white today. Okay. Me too, just get that in there. Okay, do trees, just the idea of trees, however you can, okay? So let's see if we can get that close up. I don't like the glare that I'm getting. But if I do this, is the glare less? Okay, let's see. All right. Sorry, guys. I feel like my lighting changes every day. Okay, so I'm just going to get that in there. And we're going to put in some basic trees over here. So the photo goes up, so I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna use the edge of my brush, just kind of the edge. And just get something basic in there. We're gonna do more of this later on, but you're just gonna work through this painting with me because I haven't done it. And I thought it'd be fun to do it together. Okay. And then let's do, uh, let's do a few more in here. And if it's getting too white, you can always add 
a little, I'm just grabbing a little light blue. And your trees don't even have to look like this. They could do, you could do something like this, where kind of go up and down like that. People are gonna know that that's what you're doing. There's some trees back there. So give yourself a little freedom. Because we're just getting the idea from something else. We're not trying to copy it. Okay. Good. And then let's bring it down a little bit. Let's bring it down. Let's just get some color in here. And I'm going to start doing this foreground horizontally. Just a little bit. That road especially. I'm just going to do horizontally. And we'll deal with that later. All right. And then I also, I've got my white and my blue, well, it's really white on a dirty brush. And I'm just going to lay this in. Let it fall. Lay it in, let it fall. And we'll see how that works. Okay, so good. And we'll do more of this foreground, I think, in a moment. Okay, so I'm just getting in some basic horizontal strokes here just to cover that painting. All right. So we've got a good basic outline here, which is great. Let's start just adding in little bits of the chapel. So I've got, um, this is burnt sienna, which I love. It's kind of cinnamon color. And I've got a dirty brush and I'm not going to worry too much about it not being dirty. Um, you could use a lovely yellow ochre. Oh, I kind of love that too. So we might use some yellow ochre. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. But here's the deal. Whatever you have is going to work. Um, get a brown and a yellow, and it doesn't matter what else you end up using. But I'm going to start with a little yellow ochre, and I'm going to put it in the middle here. And I probably should have washed off my brush, but I didn't. So this is round, and I'm not going to worry about it quite yet. And you can add some white this is going to make such a gorgeous base. And then I'm going to throw some over here. Am I going to throw some over here? Mm, no, I'm going to wait. Okay. So I've got that. I want to add little bits and just slightly start building this beautiful chapel. So I've got my dirty brush. I'm just going to add a little bit of that burnt sienna. And we're just going to get a base coat on here. Remember, all the magic happens after we put it in base coats. And that's kind of a beautiful color against that blue, all that blue. So in, in the vintage photograph, they've got that kind of dome door, which is fine. And pull this in. And I'm gonna start for this side. I want to add a little black to my brush. It's already got brown on it. And I just wanna show that that is a little shadowed. So maybe I'll put that right here.
and turn this around or do whatever you need to. Remember, the bottom is going to be covered by snow, so it's not too big of a deal. But, all right, and I'm wiping that off and I'm grabbing a little more brown. And I just need to tap this kind of so that it makes a little more sense there. Okay, good. And a little bit of yellow. Play with that in there. That's going to look so good. Okay, and then let's move that shadow back. Okay, now for this guy, he's painted or pointed a different way. So I'm going to go back to that yellow ochre and some brown. And I'm going to do a nice bright side. A little higher than I think I want, a little bit farther. I'm doing it a little lower because he's a little closer. Okay, and that's good. And you can go up, whatever you want to do. And now, because this guy is all shadowy like that side, I want to grab a little bit of brown and black again. And I'm going to do that. So just because I'm drawing at the same time, I've just got to tilt this for a moment. and try to do it at the same angle. And you have to just clean as you go, clean up your brush as you go, clean up your space as you go. That gets a little tricky for a lot of us. And which way? I'm not sure which angle I want. I'm gonna do it flat for now and see if I can get away with that. I probably need to angle it a little bit, but right now I'm not going to. And this is going to have a tree in front of it, so I'm not going to end it completely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it definitely needs to be angled. So I'm going to angle it up in the easiest way. I'm taking a baby wipe. And I'm going to pull up. I think I probably, I'm going to change it just a little bit. So like that should be angled up slightly. There we go. That should be angled up slightly. Okay. So I'm going to let all of that dry. And if you want, you can go a little moodier with it. Do a little more black. And I like it choppy. Do it choppy because it's kind of fun. And then I'm going to do a little more there where it's choppy. Derek Woo! <laughs> My husband's calling. I'll call him in a second. Okay. So, all right, we'll deal with that. And the nice thing is snow covers everything, so we don't have to worry about it too much. I feel like this angle might be a little off. So we'll just play that way. And extend it a little bit. And we'll see how we like it. Good. Okay. So I'm going to take this line, just edge it this way, because that'll kind of be fun. And I'm going to put some fence lines out here. Oh, I'm going to do that guy too. I'm going to do that guy as well. So I'm going to do this a little flatter than I normally would, but I think I'm going to come right here. I'm just going to pull this out. Going like that. Okay. And then I'm going to take my yellow ochre and then I'm going to come in right here and go up like that. I'm going to go right into where I think the snow belongs. And then I'll bring this side over more. If that makes sense. So you've got maybe a third of the size over here. 
and that side over there. And it gives it a little dimension. So this one will be moving slightly up, I think. Okay, we're not gonna worry about that too much. We'll fix lines later on. All right, so let's also go up here and I'm gonna grab brown. And I'm gonna do a line here and a smaller one right there. And then I'll do whoosh and we'll go, actually you should have done that. So I'll go a little bit above. And then from here to here and then here to wherever's back there. And that will start our bridge. And I could do the exact same thing right here. There is whoosh. And then down and just try to mimic what you did on the other side. And then this sort of thing. I feel like that guy's a little shorter than he should be. And we'll go there and we'll go there. And that, I think, is going to start our stuff. I think. I hope. And then, <laughs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. And then just to give myself a little bit of line, I'm going to do this so I kind of understand where I'm going with this. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think that's that's all right. And I'll probably paint over this whole thing, but okay. Something like that. Okay. So Let's just check, and that is like that, and that's like that, and that's like that. All right, so let's fix anything we think we need to fix. We'll do that. And then this can go down slightly. Okay. All right, all right. So now let's just play. I'm going to take my big brush again. And I want to start adding, I'm gonna let all of this stuff dry, but I wanna start adding some fun lines. Maybe I do a little bit over here where I'm gonna add a little snow on the bottom. And I'm gonna take my finger in the white and just move it up. And let's see if you can properly see that. And then maybe, maybe I start to mess this whole area up a little bit. So I'm gonna take my baby wipe or a paper towel and just start to scrunch in some fun area. You can use your, um, woo. You can use your brush if you want to. But I just don't feel like being that neat and tidy today. Okay. Derek hey, babe. I'm filming. Can I call you right? Okay, I think this one's super fun. So I'm just tapping in some stuff and I love how it's turning out. So I'm going to do more of it. Oh, I really like that. Okay. And because I like it so much, I'm going to do it here, but I'm going to do it with some uh, darker light blue. Is that a thing? Darker light blue? 
but I just want a little texture in here. Boom. Okay. Let's see what else we want. So I'm gonna do, oh, I want some blues and fun stuff up in the sky. Okay, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna splatter the sky. So I've got a dirty brush anyway. I've got my messy palette and I'm bringing a nice amount of water to my light um, or to my white. And you can, if you have a sprayer, spray it. Okay. I'm trying so hard to do. Oh, yeah. That's what I want. So this is the consistency of like, hmm. Maybe a little bit thicker than whole milk, but not much. And then I'm going to wipe off that brush. And I know this is kind of crazy, but I'm going to do the same thing with a little bit of black. And I'm using a dirty brush so it won't be a straight black. You can kind of see in there, there's a slight hint of gray in there. And I want some... dark and there whoops don't get so dark that you yeah it's fine I'll just mush it around my finger okay so I wonder if I can get you to see some of that woo And you can see where some of the black specks are. And then I'm going to do a few things that are bright white. So I'm going to take my little quarter inch wash brush and I'm going to go in for a little fun star. Ah, nope, I lie. I don't like that nearly as much. So I'm going to tap it away, which is kind of fun anyway. I'm going to take my half inch wash brush and I'm going to do it. And that way I can get a really nice chisel where my paintbrush is super sharp. Okay, now I'm going to do it. Good. And you can even take the back of the brush and dab a little bright in a few spots, just really fun. I kind of like that. I might go slightly smaller, slightly smaller. It's kind of fun. And you can always make that darker when it dries. Now I'm gonna come in um, and maybe I'll splatter more a little bit later on. I'm going to start adding, I'm going to bring the peak right over. Pull that down and fluff it in there. I hope that makes sense. Actually, I'm going to pull this lower, I think. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Pull that peak down. And I've got to pull this up anyway. I didn't get it. That's why you want more background. Okay. And then wipe that off. And I'm going to grab straight white. And pull it in. And it won't be straight white by the time you're finished. But just soften that with the finger. I think it's easiest to use fingers. I feel like I should be painting like that. Okay, when this gets nice and dry, we have a good base and I can add more detail to that. And then I'm gonna start on my fluffy, I'm gonna curve everything. 
because that's going to make it feel more marshmallowy. That's what I want. Some fun holiday type stuff going on. Okay, winter, winter. And if you don't love how something's turning out, I say wipe it off. And then pull that in there. And again, I'm going to use a little more. And I want, the, I want this rounded. this rounded. So I'm going to go dark again over here. Go dark in here where they overlap. And go lighter as it gets towards the top. I really wish I could paint like sideways here. Or plant slanted, maybe I can. And then I'm going to go on the side, paint up. And then, yeah. And then I'm going to soften that edge. If you need to, just do another coat. Wait. Wait until it dries if needed. Wipe off your brush. I'm going to grab some more white and come back and throw that on there and soften that top. Okay. I think that's good. So I'm going to come in and grab a little gray and this does have this is light blue and black Just start to add a little bit of shadow in there and I'm gonna add And I'm pulling out just a little bit so you can kind of see. Good. And I'm going to go dark in here maybe for a minute. Okay, let's bring that a little closer so you can see. And that's kind of fun. Now, um, let's start to add with our little wash brush. Um, I'm gonna go white and yellow and I'm gonna start adding windows. Oh, that is the paint. That is awkward. Okay. So, <laughs> and you can do this with yellow ochre, which is gorgeous, or any yellow that you have. Um, oops, I am not going to get blue in there, but I am going to use some yellow ochre, I think. And I'm going to add with some white, a little window up there. And I feel like this got out of control a little bit. So I'm going to come in with a little blue and get maybe Maybe add a fun tree right there. Oh, see, there's the drippies I'm talking about. So I'm going to add just straight dark blue, right? Or uh, light blue. And then maybe one right here as well. And where are we right now on time? Yeah, it will be okay. All right grab a little bit. We're going to put, I like using the quarter inch because I can go boom, 
boom, boom, boom. And just do three or four or five windows. And you're pretty much like, it just, it already looks luminescent, you know? And then I'm gonna add some yellow and white here and then on my snow as it kind of pours out a little bit. Let's see if you can see where I put that. So a little bit out the window or out the door and then I'm gonna put a little bit on there. Okay, and then I want some fun ones here. So I'm gonna do the same thing, quarter inch wash and use some white, whatever you're doing, use some white. And I'm gonna do one right in the middle, if I can sort of get there. And then I just turn it a quarter turn. Do you see that? And then if you need to, come back and shape it a little bit. And you know what I wanna do? Just cause that's a bit of a tricky shape. Just gonna wipe that off and we're gonna go straight rectangle. Oops. I hope you can see this. Yeah. I think that's good. And that way we don't have to worry about much. And if you need to, just straighten it out. But don't get too fussy with these things. It's a painting. And I'll show you some fun stuff to do. We can make stained glass a little bit later at that. Let's see. I'm going to give this edge a little bit of a luminous glow, I think, because it's kind of surrounded by all of that light spilling out. And a little texture is super fun, and I'm going to make that line pretty sharp. Good. So I just added a little bit of that texture. And then let's also do, um, let's do some little shadows up here. So I'm gonna take um, some brown, just wipe off your brush, but I'm not gonna wash it. And a tiny, tiny hit of black. If you need to, just use a dark brown. You don't even have to play around with it. If you have the colors, use them. Okay, and what I wanna do is start to ever so gently, oh, I need to put windows up here too. Um, but I want to ever so gently tap in some shadow on the dark side and underneath. And then I'm going to do it right here underneath this, I think. Do I want to do it under there? Or maybe, mm, maybe a little touch under here. And we'll see how that looks. Like maybe there's a little hidden under there. I think that's good. And then a little more right under there. Can you see that? And if it's too dark, just rub it out. And then I'm going to go down here pretty dark. And I'll put a tree or something right there. And then maybe something nice and dark right under there. You see that? Okay. And then I gotta wash off my brush. Well, I'll do that in a second. I'll give that a moment to dry and then add some stuff. So down here, 
Um, I want to use that black too. And the light's going to be coming behind it. So maybe I do this sort of thing. And that looks really, really black, which is not my intention, but that's okay. And I don't need to have these perfect. In fact, it's easier if I don't make it perfect. And then let's see if you can see that. So all I've done is add a dark a dark brown or black right behind you can go underneath And that's going to give it a little bit. And I'm going to turn it just so that I can actually do it. Oh, I'm going to get the bottom. Because the whole bottom is messed up. That's okay. So I'm going to come over here. And I want to do the bottom of these. And they don't have to be perfect, mind you, okay? It's actually cool that they're not. because then it kind of looks old. And I forgot what in here. And then I'm gonna add a little glow on the top where light might hit. And can you see that? And it's really choppy, nothing Nothing swanky. Okay, so I'm not right handed, but I'll attempt to do this with my right hand. And then maybe just a ditch right in there. And we'll put snow on this probably. But... Okay, we'll just kind of pop it in there. So you've got your three basic. Whoops that changed to the wrong color being asked. Okay. And I'm going to go down the fronts too. Do, do, do. All right. Are you dry? Yeah, you're probably dry enough. So I'm going to wash off that little tiny brush. I'm going to grab white. I'm going to grab that yellow ochre and I'm going to put a big, maybe a little window, kind of like two little windows maybe. And then maybe one long one here. I'll do that one in white. Yeah. Those are so fun. Okay. Um... Good. I'm going to make these windows a little brighter. I'm using white and I'm definitely going to use a little yellow ochre. And then these, I think, oh, these are going to be fun. Because we're going, we're going to stain glass those up. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, and then I'm going to go while it's wet. You can wait until it's dry. I'm just grabbing white, and I'm going to start adding bits of snow onto, let's see if we get a really good view of that. And I'm just going to let it, you know, like dollop on, like frosting, because I think that's really fun. A little more up. Hope you can see that. Okay, good. And over here, I'm going to do the same thing where I just dollop that on. And that's fine. And then it's still wet, so you could wait. I'm just going to build some snow in there. All right. 
And we can play with those a little bit if we want. But I think that's pretty okay. And then let's take, let's start putting in some fun trees. So I'm going to grab, what do I want to grab? I'm going to do more of this light blue. And I want to put in some big, fun, dollopy kind of trees that are right up in front of us. So push up and we're just going to get a nice big I think that'll be good. And then I want one right next to it. That's not light blue. That's light blue. Okay. I don't know what that's going to be, but we'll figure it out. And then we'll do just some little blue streaks. Can you see that? Can you see that? I'm just doing... Well, like today, my stuff should be way up here. That's okay. And that may have gone too far, but if it did, if it did in yours, then just grab your handy dandy baby wipe. And mine's dirty, which is great. And I'm just going to gently blend some of those in. All right. And I'll pop in a few. I'm going to use some white right up here. And I'm just starting to give that So I want to take some dark blue for a minute. I'm going to wipe off my brush a little bit and I've got a little phthalo blue and I want to start adding little bits around here. And I love that deeper color. So I'm going to come in and I'm just going to gently add texture and if it gets to be too much, does that make sense? So I'm just kind of playing. I want, I'm using the side of my brush. That's just for close. Now down by the church, I want to add a little, I've got white. And I'm just going to start messing up these lines a little bit. Does that make sense? Just mess them up. And then for these trees, come in with your white and just do something really gentle. You see that? Mess those trees up a little bit. Okay. Then we have to decide, like, what else do we really want to do here? I want to add, I'm going to wipe off my brush and take some phthalo. I've got to let that dry. I'm going to get some dark blue in here. And I'm going to add a little shadow. And that shadow is just above where that blue ends. And then I'm just going to soften. I don't want to wait to soften, but just a little bit. Just mess it up a little bit. And then I'm going to come in 
some darker blue right under. And along this darker edge. Okay. And I'm going to come in here too and do the same thing. And then I put the shadow on the wrong side. That's okay. Do this over here. And that should be nice and bright. So I'm going to wipe off my brush. Let's come back in. Okay. No harm, no foul. Let's see if you can see how that goes. All right, so with this guy, I think it's so fun. I'm going to let this dry for just a second. Um, I want to add a few other touches, but I just need to leave it alone for a moment. And then I can, oh, I can probably start putting in that tree and putting in a little fun haze and stuff over there. And then maybe I put in a couple, I don't know, maybe I like this better. You can just, it's a problem, is I just keep playing. Just keep playing. Okay. Um, so, oh, I want a little, just a little hint. That would be fun, a little tiny hint of dark green. I mean, just the tiniest hint. I think that would be really fun. Just a little bit. I don't want it to stand out too much. Okay, can you see? And I'm done there. All right, so I'm gonna walk away for one minute and I'll be right back and then we'll fill in some of the other stuff. Okay, so let's see. I want to see if I can put something behind this to help it not be so glary. Okay, um, and I do want to do a couple other things. I know I say I don't, but I do. So I want to do stuff like this. I want some bushes and I want them to be seen really pretty well. So I'm just, yeah, that makes me feel better. And I'm going to bring it forward just a little bit and let it fade. Yeah, that makes me feel better. And then I'm not going to worry too much about this side. I think that'll be good. Okay. So I'll put this away. And then I want to really snow these out and I want to put the stained glass in like we were talking about earlier so I have a purple lake but literally you can choose whatever colors you want I'm just going to choose my favorites so I'm going to grab you can do it with 
um, well, yeah, you can do it with the front of the paintbrush and just come in little bits, little bits, and it should have a nice bright background. If your colors are muddy, then you need to add, um, do I want a little orange? I'm going pink because that's what I like. So that's what I'm doing. So I've got a gorgeous pink here. Okay. And then I want a nice bright yellow. So I'm going to use this guy. And if, you know, whatever yellow, if you choose to use yellow, you can always add. Oh, that's fun. And then I want a nice bright green and maybe even teal. That would be awesome. So I happen to have a bright green, um, but you could do this by adding regular green with yellow and So that's what my mine are starting to look like, but I want I want to keep going a little bit and I'll probably add some orange. I think well, I don't like the color. I just take it back out. That's pretty fun. And I'm going to take my bright yellow and brighten this up. And I'm going to take my half inch brush. I'm going to grab some white and pop a bright white in there. Maybe a little there. Okay. And now I want to start playing with these trees. So I'm going to tap in the edges. However you want to do this, don't worry about doing it like me or anything like that. Just tap it in however makes sense to you because it's more important for you to be consistent than it is for you to copy. <laughs> so maybe I'm going to come down and tap in layers, I think. See if I can bring this a little closer and I'm going to do the same thing where I just tap in. They don't all have to be the same. And then let's do a bright one back here too. And I'll probably just add something like that and then pull it in. So that's kind of fun too. You could give a whole bunch of fluffy and then you're not exactly sure where that ends. Okay. Whoops. And then I'll come in here and add some stuff. And I do want to add like a nice or something back here. 
So I'm going to grab, how do I want to do that? I'm going to grab some phthalo and I'm going to tap in just a layer of darker things that sort of go off into the hillside there. Yeah. And I don't want them super dark, but maybe some deeper ones back here. I just feel like it just needs a little more depth with those trees. What do you think? What do you think? I don't know. Okay. And I can play with this later if I want to, but and then I think I'll go light blue. Whoops. And now how about some white? These monochromatic schemes or more monochromatic are, I have to think about them more because I love them, but they're not natural for me. All right, so I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna grab a nice hunk of white and this time I'm gonna dollop and just see if I can get some fun Yeah, this wintery stuff. And just build something, see if you love it. Can you guys even see that? So I'm grabbing my brush and dolloping and just see what ends up working. If it works, great. If not, we just try something different. And right on this corner, I wanna do the same. And then maybe I get a hint of the dark blue and tap it in a few places just underneath. Soften towards the bottom. Something like that. All right. We'll soften that a little bit. Too streaky. And then I'm going to grab some really bright snow, pop that on there, and some more really bright snow, pop that there. And there's so, like, there are so many things I'd like to put in here. I mean, I'm really tempted to do a little bit of um, purple in here, but I'm trying to keep it more vintagey and... They have a shooting star this way. So I might see, I might do that just a little bit. I don't want it as big and crazy as they have it. Let's just see, because we can always I don't know. I don't know about that, you guys. What do you think? I'm not sure about that. So the nice thing is I've got a baby wipe. And I do, I like the idea of a shooting star. I do. I'm just not exactly sure how to properly execute it. Okay. Sometimes things work out beautifully. Sometimes we just repaint. 
I'm going to see instead if I can do a big star because I love those stars. So I'm going to come up. I'm going with my flat brush. Make sure it's nice and chiseled. Okay, so I make a big cross. Yeah, for me, that's just better. Other people do really cool things, but this is just what I know. Ah, that was fabulous. That's okay. We'll baby wipe it and then tap it in there again. Okay. And then in the center, I'll probably do a really bright white thing. And all right, are there any other little things? I feel like I do want to do a few little. I'm going to take black and really chisel my brush. And do a really dark edge on my stained glass. And right in here just to give it a little more life. And I'm going to do this one on this side. Okay. Maybe the tiniest touch black in there. A little more brown in here. Just find your little... So I think it's, I actually quite like it. I think it's fun. I do want more color because I can't help it, but maybe, maybe it's best that it doesn't. Maybe I put some yellow on this tree out here. That's kind of fun if I do that. Like maybe a little... And I'll do white ones. And if you want to attempt a couple people walking, you sure can, but I'm not going to because this is all the time that I've got today. that's kind of yeah that's kind of fun and you could decorate the tree even more you could put a couple people walking or maybe even a little deer and we're calling that good oh my goodness you guys you're so much fun thank you so much for for letting me ramble and paint and play a little bit because it keeps me nice and loose and um i feel like later on you know tomorrow i instruct better because you know I get to I get to practice and yeah and maybe okay maybe one more thing maybe one more thing do you guys do this do you just uh do you have the inability to stop <laughs> it's so fun so I'm just taking a bunch of water 
and making it a little creamy consistency and seeing if I want to do just a little more snow. Ah, I got it on my face and I did get a chunky monkey. So I'm just going to get that out. And that one is chunky too. Oh, I'm going to leave that though. But I totally got it on my face, which is awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, and then maybe in here. Okay. All right, my friends, that's, that's what we got. So if you do this or if you do something similar, show me what you come up with. Because it's just a really fun painting to do. I have a hard time stopping. I want to do more to it. But I think that's it. I'm going to leave it here with paint on my face. I say happy painting and um, yeah, we'll get back to it in a few days. Let me know what you do. Bye.